I was raised by very religious parents, and I wasn't allowed to read Stephen King. So I had to tear the covers off Stephen King books and glue them to like Christian books, so they would think I was reading about Jesus or whatever. But I was actually reading Stephen King. Uh, you know, I used to hide his books in the box springs under my bed. I had like the stand in it, and my mom found them and burned them in the fireplace. They were like my porn collection. It was like Stephen King books, and I wrote him a letter when I was twelve, just to tell him that I wanted to be a writer when I grew up, and that I loved his books so much, and. Uh, sent him the first three Dark Tower books to Maine. I didn't know his address, I just knew he lived in Bangor, Maine. So I sent a box there and uh, I came home from school a couple weeks later and my dad was like, there's a box here. My dad was always the one who was a little cooler. My mom was the one who was a little more legalistic and you know, crazy about stuff. And uh, my dad was like, there's a box here from Stephen King. And uh, he had written me like a beautiful letter and said the front covers of each of the Dark Tower books. And he had sent me uh, a signed limited edition of one of his books that's worth you know a lot of money. and. Uh, yeah, and I mean, my parents were so moved that he took the time to do that, that they were like, it's cool, you can read Stephen King. <laughs> He'll always be the one I love, probably more so than anybody else. You know, is he the greatest author who ever lived? Probably not, but he will always be my favorite writer.